Well, all right, you guys. Here's, uh, this is Barcelona, which I've told you about before, but look at this fireplace. Look at this great fireplace outside. Anyway, my little setup is is uh, <laughs> moving. It's folding around. Here, let me turn. Oh, I can't. I got to turn it like this. I thought I could turn the uh, camera around. This is Le Diplomat. These are the vestiges of vestiges of um, COVID. But what it's done is it's uh, expanded the tables in all these restaurants, so it stays. Pearl Dive used to be a place of excitement. And this is a great Italian restaurant right here, Dolce Vita. And this is a great Thai restaurant. And there's Le Diplomat. Uh, frightening. Anyway, Le Diplomat sometimes used to, back when he was, he was in good health, you, you would hear of Joe Biden going there. Um, all right, I just want to, let's see, this is all 14th Street, when, uh, you, most of you don't remember, but when uh, Martin Luther King was shot, this street erupted in uh, riots and it's taken years for the city to bring it back but it's coming back big league that's what Trump always said big league he didn't say big league anyway I want to talk about GTII and I hopefully I can do this in a brief way um, I think GTII of everything you have in your portfolio has the best chance of having a dramatic squeeze in the next in the next uh, week or two. This is not a prediction. Uh, well, I guess it is a prediction, but just because I predict it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Uh, if you had listened to me over the last two years, I would have said the similar thing at different points. But let me give you the reasons why I think it's going to happen now. See, there's homelessness here too. It's tough. At least we don't have the tweets anymore. Um, okay, I'm going to quickly go the reasons why. I want to go through two outliers, two outliers, two things that we cannot control. One is the audit and the merger or the acquisition of 1-800-LAW-FIRM. Um, I've been a big, I've been a big defender of the of the let, let me get off of here there's like too much noise of course there'll be noise down here too see this whole foods that was put in about 15 years ago 12 years ago and it was one of the anchors of the new move of residential anyway the i've defended the audit being slow because it made sense to me. End of the year, it made sense to me. It'll be by the end of January. Now we're almost to the end of February. I can't defend it anymore. My understanding is the company is talking back and forth and the auditors are giving updates, but I can't defend it anymore. I have no idea. So that's out of our control. My guess is that you will hear about that audit soon very soon and it'll be good news but like I say I I'm tired of I'm tired of uh, suggesting it'll be imminent so just put that out of your 
put that out of your head. Um, just pretend, pretend that it's not going to happen anytime soon and then you can be surprised when it does. Secondly is this Trento mine. The company has been negotiating for almost two years to acquire an interest in a lithium mine in Chile. There's so many people. It's a problem when you live in the city. You have to let it deal with people. Have all of you done this? Call your mother? Best real estate in DC goes to banks. This was Phillips, one of the greatest restaurants for seafood and crabs on the waterfront and in Baltimore. Fortunately, it didn't work here like a lot of restaurants. There's the Washington Monument, and I think that's where I'll head right now. Anyway, the Trento Mine deal, as I understand it, is very much alive. And finally, after ambassadors talking and bureaucrats in many countries and, and international banks and securing lines of credit and, and bonds and raising, I think raising a, a quarter of a billion dollars, um, I think it's on the verge of happening. But just like with the, with the um, audit, don't count on it. Just don't count on it. Just don't count on it. That way you don't get your blood pressure up. Um, could that happen soon? Yes, I think so. I think that could be before the end of the first quarter. Both of those. But both are out of our control. And I think uh, judging our progress on things that involve bureaucrats and accountants and lawyers Judging on timing on those kind of things is a mistake. They work at their own speed. They really don't care about um, your stock price. <laughs> they don't care. All right, so those are the two unknowns. Well, they're knowns, but they're two unpredictables, okay? Then there's four things that are predictable. And this is, these four things are the reason why I think GTII is going to go up soon. One, West Christian is filing a lawsuit on behalf of GTII. I have no idea who he's going to, who's, who's, where those documents are going to hit with a thud, whose who's desks, but my guess is it'll be all the regulatory bodies. It'll be several Wall Street banks. It'll be Westpac. It'll be um, Wells Fargo. It'll be Fidelity. It'll be Alpine. It'll be uh, um, Kurt, Seth, and Kramer, and their lackey, Charlie Mayo. Here, let's turn this way. We're going over to 16th Street which I just read in a tourist brochure, 16th Street used to be the prime meridian in, uh, for, for uh, surveying maps in the United States until, now I, I don't know when they came up with the Greenwich um, meridian in the UK and London, I've been there. I don't know if that predated this, but at some point, the United States moved its meridian to the UK, so we don't use this anymore. But it's a pretty interesting thing to find out. Um, right, so Wes, I think, is going to uh, push this lawsuit. It's going to be for monetary damages. It's going to be massive. It's going to be hard-hitting. And as he says, down here in Texas, we call it stealing. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good for you. Good for us, good for visibility. I expect that to be announced uh, Tuesday, 
or Wednesday next week. These are projections, not guarantees. Uh, secondly, once that's announced, I think they will create, as Ham describes, described, they will create a distribution. Look at how beautiful. This is your nation's capital. Over here is the Australian Embassy, and they've, they've been working on that now for about two years. And I don't quite understand why the copper, uh, I don't know what to call those, facings or pillars are of different sizes. I don't get that. But this um, is meant, I think, to represent the, how do you say that rock in Australia, the air rock in Australia? So that might be why here's 16th Street, the prime meridian, and your White House is right at the end of it. See the White House? See the White House? That's where we're going to go. I'm just going to go around the circle and then walk toward the White House. Uh, So anyway, they're going to create a distribution. At, you know, you're going to own a piece of the rock of that lawsuit. And uh, uh, that will be distributed on upstream, a blockchain special dividend. Um, uh, then then um, I, I expect that that alone will cause a short squeeze because it's going to, remember our whole goal is to cause the street to need to find a place for th what looks to be 325 million counterfeit shares in the space of um, uh, in the space of roughly 35 million that are in the float. I'm gonna turn, I think this microphone's wrong, so let me just turn it around just in case. There, let's see if that's, let's see if that's better for you. Um, so I think that, in my view, that will be announced as quickly as they can create that special dividend. And I believe they can make a press release about it as, as soon as the board votes on it. And then it'll take time. So I expect a press release next week on that as well. That's huge. Uh, thirdly, um, we're waiting for upstream approval. And I have reason to believe that upstream's approval has either happened or will happen in, in, imminently. The reason I feel that way, life is a series of waiting. There's a guy on a horse, I don't know who it is, but he survived the woke movement. I guess no one told him that's a white guy. It's a problem, you know. Our country was established by a lot of Europeans. They were mostly white. So you get a history of mostly white people. Then, obviously, they, anyway, I don't want to get into politics. There were Native Americans here, and then they forcibly moved others here, which was all wrong. But anyway, um, uh, so, I think you're going to hear about Upstream's approval, and I'm going to guess you'll hear about it next week. So that's three things next week. It's a four-day week, which means um, I, I'm probably wrong. Maybe they only announced two things next week. Uh, but anyway, they're coming. And then the final thing that I think will be announced pr fairly quickly is the um, special dividend warrant at 275 expires mid-April. Mid, uh, 
I think the company will either extend that, which I think is the easiest thing for them to do, uh, or create a new one, or both. They could extend that one and create a second one um, on blockchain, on upstream. And I think you'll hear news about that. My guess is it would be the following week or, or even three weeks from now. Why would it wait? Because their plate is full. Their plate is full. Um, here's the National Education Association. You know, I didn't know that that was there. <laughs> Just to show when you live somewhere. Here's the Jefferson Hotel. Sometimes you'll read about it in spy novels. It's one of the old line, it's one of the old line great hotels of DC. Um, soon I'll be able to show you the White House. So anyway, those are the three things that I think the company can control. There's impetus for completing. And, uh, um, you know, in the span of this GTII project, that building right there, went from demolition, digging, foundation, and then it's almost finished. <laughs> We've wasted, I feel like I've wasted two years, but we're about to get our, we're about to get our reward. All right, so I think there's good news on those four things coming. Now, why, why do I have such confidence that the stock is gonna go soon? I'm gonna give you these three things. We'll try to get you a picture of the White House and then I'm gonna end this call because I want to be able to, I want to make sure it uploads. There's the American Chemical Society. I wonder if they're getting any pressure regarding uh, Ohio. I don't know, but that's, that's tough. Um, anyway, on, on uh, Wednesday of last week, it could have been Thursday, I spoke directly to someone who had first-hand knowledge of what happened out in California. And a broker was burned. It's possible that the broker had been groomed, been groomed for a long time. It's possible that broker uh, had done business with these guys for a long time. Because you don't just establish um, those kind of trading positions and trust overnight. It's also possible that for some reason the com this is National Geographic, that's the University Club. Next to the University Club it is, is used to be the Russian Embassy. Now it's the consulate, Russian consulate. And we used to be friends now I guess we're enemies, but it's the Sakharov Plaza here. Back when the Soviet Union existed, they used to keep that front door open. Everything had political symbols, symbolism. I don't, let's see if it's open now. I don't think they do it anymore. No. Anyway, they, <laughs> all right, uh, let me get back to this. Um, uh, so this broker, a young guy, I'm sure, he was about to go on a wedding, a honeymoon. This broker accepted these orders to sell, counter, to, to sell counterfeit shares of GTII. Now, um, was it the Kramer selling? I don't think so. I think it was probably Alpine or someone working with Alpine. But it was the same evil, aggressive, short-term traders that, who don't have a lot of capital. Um, they probably use Alpine and those crappy market makers. Um, but their goal was to get the stock down from $3 uh, or $2. It seems like one, eight, we don't know. It seems like 180 is is a big issue for them. This is uh, still 16th. This is the Capitol Hilton 
There, I think I've told you this before, but there used to be a place here called Trader Vic's. And uh, that's where every high-powered stockbroker used to go. Um, it was the place. I wasn't in that league at that time. And I didn't really like it that much. It's all frou-frou drinks. But the chicks dig dug it, so I guess that's why everyone went. Um, anyway, we're going to get on the White House here soon. Let me show you this. This street up here is K Street, which you hear about all the time. And, I'll, and here's the Capitol Hilton. Um, anyway, they, whoever was crushing the stock was having problems. Why do I say that? Because they burned this broker. They hung him out to dry. If the trade had worked, they probably would have honored the trade. When you, when you sell non-existent shares short, whether you mark a long wrong or you actually set it up as a short, you have to send capital, cash, above what you sold it for usually, but certainly if the stock starts moving against you. And it looks like they were selling stock in December, January under a dollar and it went against them. If it had gone down, they would have kept the trade. This is as illegal as anything. Um, it's, I guess it's free riding, but it's, it's playing, it's entering a trade. If it works, you keep it. If it doesn't work, you stuff the system or you stuff it in an account. It's as illegal as it possibly can be. This is uh, K Street. If you see, I don't know if you can see it, but that red neon sign over there, it's through the trees, that's Archibald's. That's where your vice president's son met the dancer who fathered or mothered a child with him. Um, it's also a naked lady joint, notorious. This is K Street. Over here, uh, I guess if you're a bus, I guess if you're a bus, you don't have to notice that people are crossing the street. Anyway, this is the St. Regis. I have a friend whenever he's in town. This is, of course, where he stays. Um, anyway, it's a sign if they could have easily continued to sell through Alpine, if they could easily continue to sell through the market makers and their other preset channels, they wouldn't have burned this broker. They burned the broker. Now, I'm not gonna, we won't know if the broker was uh, complicit, involved, I, I would think that this is Westpac Securities. I would think that they're concerned at the office level and all the way up that it's gonna look like they were part and parcel of this counterfeiting ring. So anyway, um, Ham said on a call, Ham said it on a call, here's a, Laborers International Union. I'm not sure they're there anymore, but there used to be a brokerage firm in here uh, whose name I'm forgetting. It was an old line, old line brokerage firm. There's the AFLCIO <laughs> right near the White House. Anyway, so this is a sign of desperation and um, Ham believes that the stock price when it went to three was the covering in this era. And uh, reportedly they lost three or four million dollars. It might have been less, I hear different numbers, but it's a massive loss. Millions of dollars. Well, that kind of securities fraud and, and crossing state lines and theft um, catch it, caught, catches caught the eye of 
of um, it's a pretty nice property property the AFL CIO has huh this is the church that the presidents go to and this is over here um, the Hay Adams Hotel it's a prestigious location I didn't I've never seen that that's the Ronald Reagan Memorial Foundation and Institute I didn't know that was there so I'm learning things with you um, so this is the FBI they won't let go you don't make deals with the FBI unless you rat on Charlie Mayo or your brother one of the things Ham said on his call uh, Friday I think it was he said that the FBI believes that the person giving the orders is the person selling counterfeit share I'm using the word counterfeit uh, shares all over the street this is huge guys they, they're in sort of suspended disbelief right now but this is huge and uh, uh, here I'll turn like this while we wait it's the White House um, remember there's still the 19 million share order to buy all right, I'm gonna cross. I'm gonna cross while they let us. Um, so, guys and girls, this is the most, <laughs> I think it's just incredible news. The FBI, not the SEC, not FINRA, not brokerage firms, the FBI is after this guy. And it might just be, if we're lucky, because he's a control freak, um, and I think he can get way, get away with anything. It might just be Kurt Kramer. We don't know. But I have a feeling the FBI is going to get down to it right away. Now, here's the White House. Treasury's over there. And uh, the wind is blowing. So... It's too bad about this wind, huh? So, uh, uh, my experience, this is my experience in stocks I used to trade. If something like this came up, it hits every margin office, every compliance desk in, in the country. And so I think it's gonna get harder and harder for these criminals to counterfeit shares, sell shares that don't exist um, I disagree with Jeremy Frommer. I don't think it's a problem with the computers. I think it's a problem with, with, with uh, evil human beings. Human beings full of avarice and greed. All right, here's your White House. I know some of you support this president and others supported the last president, but all of us support this White House. We should all, we should all give it uh, a thought in our prayers because we don't want to be at war. This street here used to be trafficked and ever since Bill Clinton was president, they blocked it off. I'll stand like this so you can see it behind me. Um, <laughs> she's climbing a tree. Um, so the 19 million share order to buy is still out there. I think on every single compliance desk is this uh, be aware, be aware. So I think it's going to be harder and harder for these criminals to overwhelm the system with false, fake, counterfeit shares for sale. And I don't think it's a problem with the computers. I think all along it's been criminals. And I do think, I don't, I agree with Jeremy that uh, Kirk Kramer is not all that bright, but I think Kirk Kramer is smart enough to follow a system when his lawyer, probably it's the lawyer, in-house lawyer, gives him cover and this and the computers uh just accept his orders 
carte blanche because of all that cover that uh, uh, he knows that if he doesn't keep selling, if he light, lifts his foot off the accelerator, it's similar to what Pat Burns said, you take taking his foot off a landmine and it's just gonna blow up his whole financial world. And so that's why he, he keeps selling. But I, what my point is, is because of the FBI and because of the alerts that probably went out, those days are done. He can't keep manufacturing shares. Um, so that is huge, and I expect the ramifications of that to start showing up next week. That's, this is for GTII. So the second thing I already said, it, part of the first is the 19 million shares. That hasn't gone away. And I guess the final thing I'd say, even though I can't show it to you, is the chart just looks spectacular. Yes, they drove it down, yes. But it's on lower volume, it's inside of a, a, a channel that they've hit the lower resistance. The when, when I looked at the chart, and of course I will admit to you, I'm far more optimistic and what, what would, word would I use? I use a fatter thumb than uh, Avid or ARCA, but I think it's heading to 450 a share very quickly when it turns. And then who knows what happens. This is the old executive office building. And uh, I don't know, I think I will, I will just go this way. We're, I'm trying to go down to the Lincoln Memorial for a rally called uh, rage Against the War Machine. Gerald Salente will be there. I'm running late. Tulsi Gabbard and uh, um, the, the pothead comedian who has, I think, one of, one of the, the number one shows on YouTube. Jimmy Dore is going to be there. And I'm sure others. I'm not trying to be uh, specifically political by going. But I do support the notion that we just got to get out of these endless wars. What if we had spent some of those trillions of dollars uh, on our rail system? Just imagine that. It's, I've never been in here, the Renwick Gallery. I want to go in. This should be on your list if you come to D.C. Um, It, I've, not, I've just never been there. It's so funny. I used to come eat, say, my, my dad built. Let's, meet, let's go to lunch. I'll meet you, I'll meet, and I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a restaurant right down here. It's an old dive restaurant. And uh, this goes to Georgetown. At the top of this building is Ferris Baker Watts, but now it's changed the name, I think it's RBC, um, like Mason used to be right down here. I don't know if it still is. Things change, you know. Uh, Elizabeth Warren's um, uh, commission, I believe, is that building. Back when she was the head of it, she's now a senator. But uh, what was the name of the restaurant? We're going to walk by it. He'd always have a uh, a bowl of soup and a half a sandwich, and uh, but it was always fun. It's always fun to have lunch with him. Uh, maybe I'll show. Um, I don't know if Mr. Gooseman will be watching this, but maybe I'll keep it going long enough to show you the museum I was on the board of. They voted me off after I don't know 16 years. One guy out of out of California. Stickler for the rules, he said. Anyway, they voted me off. Um, but I still, I, I still uh, love it, still fully committed to it. And uh, maybe I'll show it to you. Here's the old executive office building. So anyway, since I'm going to try to or maybe I'll show it on my next video. I'll shorten this one up and just stop it here. 
um, and start another one. Uh, see the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau? That was uh, Elizabeth Warren's bureau, but now she's a senator. I, I think she's forgotten all about the people. But I have a feeling she might be the one senator there uh, if we could convince her to see how American people and investors are getting ripped off by the banks, she might be the one that could su surprise us. Um, we'll see. All right, so let me run through it again. I'm going to get off the get off the phone. Um, you've got you've got um, four things that the company can control, and they're working on all four. One. The lawsuit, I think it'll hit with a thud across banks and criminals and regulators, desks, Congress, as soon as Tuesday, maybe it's Wednesday next week, from West Christian. Two, I think the um, upstream dual listing has been approved, but if not, it's about to be approved. Why? Because the insiders everywhere are pushing, get it done, and upstream owes uh, these guys um, their attention because they referred so many other companies. Thirdly, once the lawsuit is plopped down on the desks of all these people, um, Upstream and GTII are going to create uh, some sort of blockchain participation in the results of that lawsuit for you. And then fourthly, they will announce soon the um, the uh, extension of the warrants in April, possibly a renewal, a, a, a creating new, letting those expire, creating new ones, or doing both. Uh, uh, but I think block, upstream and blockchain will be involved. Those are terrific items. The whole goal is to catch out the system, to have to ask for the real shares all at once. You won't have to do anything as far as I know, um, but we'll I'll update you as we, if it's like the last warrant, special dividend, you did have to file with, with Liberty Transfer. All right, then the two things we cannot control, but I think are imminent, possibly, 1-800-LAW-FIRM and the potential of this massive billion dollar acquisition that changes the story, um, the lithium gold, uh, uh, mine out of Chile. And then uh, finally, just serendipity, the FBI's on the case. This isn't Gary Gensler, this isn't uh, FINRA, this isn't Goldman Sachs, it's the FBI. This is serious, serious stuff. And um, if, if the FBI agent's correct that they believe the person who was giving the orders to Westpac is the same person giving orders for selling counterfeit shares of GTII all over the street, it's just huge, guys. It's going to blow this, blow the lid off of this. If it's Kurt Kramer, I'm sure he's got himself protected by LLCs. But whew, I wouldn't be sleeping very easy. So I know you're going to ask, what is the upside? Well, risk reward, you pay what? You pay a dollar fifty to two dollars in the next week to buy GTII risk reward I think the next place it goes is 450 to 550 um, you know maybe you do some money management take a little bit off the table and uh, and uh, so you have your stress levels down but I think it'll break out from either that level or higher there was a there was a stock I'm, I should have looked up the symbol that just went from eight dollars to two thousand in a day. Yeah. So that's my upside: two thousand, twenty five hundred, five thousand in a spike. Whether it starts from four fifty, or or um, eight, or thirteen, or twenty one, it will start. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. Um, uh, more to be revealed and cheers.